Bloxfruits has 36 different solids in the game, and I'm going to unlock and master every single one of them in only 24 hours. And our very long journey starts here in the first seat, where we come over to the sword dealer and we purchase this katana, which I conveniently already have, and already have all the mastery for. And that took barely any time at all, which means we can cross this one off. Psych! We're also going to be getting this little star thing next to every single one of these. And this is basically just an upgraded version to make it do a bit more damage. So this is going to cost literal thousands of materials to get all of these. So we got to start small. There we go. Upgraded katana does 30% more damage, which means we can actually cross this one off the list. I already know that you're going to be robbing me of everything I own. So for the next sword we're working on, we're also heading back to the Star Island because right next to the katana is the cutlass. And I also happen to have this completely leveled up as well. Mastery 250, in fact. I don't know why I did this. But if we head back to Pirate Village, what is it going to cost this time to upgrade this thing? What do we need? Leather and wings. And I have zero out of five for both of them. So I think the smartest play is going to be to just farm a bunch of these because we're going to need hundreds. And then we can make a massive dent in as many swords as possible. By the way, these are meant to be common material. I got scrap metal twice and no leather. Please, just drop one. No. Just what? Whoa, we finally got one. <laughs> That's how rough this is going to be. Okay, so I guess we should just work on getting some leather. And after an hour of my life that I'm never going to get back, I now have 99 pieces of leather. Now I need to go waste another hour getting like all these wings. I'm not even sure where I need to go to get the wings. It seems like I need to head to basically upper sky and any of the mobs in upper sky will drop it. Okay, what mob is the best to grind for this? These guys also take ages, but they did drop a wing. Maybe if I go Buddha mode, it might be easier to get them. It's said the whisper, this boss right here has a chance to drop the wings as well, which would be huge. And he dropped nothing. What about things in just regular sky? Do these guys drop anything? Oh, this is going to be real rough. I'm investing for the future. I don't know how many angel wings I've got. I just know it's, yeah, it's nine. I'm going to try and get like 100 of these or at least 50, but I'm going to get enough so I don't have to get more. Like this bingo board of hell has only one of them ticked off. We haven't even got to like the rares, the uncommons, the legendaries, the mythical stuff. So now we just got to spend the next 30 minutes punching royal squad soldiers and we should be good. Honestly, really might not be good. It might take longer than 30 minutes. One hour later. I've spent so much time grinding. I've got 53, so, you know, we'll leave it at that. But after so long, we can finally talk to the blacksmith. Cutlass upgrade. That is another common weapon completely finished. The dual katana is the next sword we're doing. And once again, I've got all the mastery on it somehow. Please be an easy upgrade. Yes. Okay, just those items. There we go. Another one. We are steamrolling through this. All the commons complete. Now we move on to the uncommon weapons. And surprisingly, we can get a couple of them here. The dual katana, which we already have. But then we can also get the iron mace, which is 25 Okay. This thing has a couple of moves, which I've luckily also managed to already get. But the true question is, is can I upgrade this? Because besides getting to the rarest swords, uncommon sword grade one, just wings and leather. You absolutely love to see that. There we go. Our next sword ticked off. Now, a little while ago, yep, the saw has spawned in the game. If I head back to Middletown and defeat the saw, then we have a chance of getting the next sword. I hope I get this drop or else I'm going to have to wait for another sword to spawn. Drop me the goods, please. Killer combo, mace smash. Wow, we got nothing. Okay, now I got to wait again. Yes, item drop shark saw. It didn't take too long. Use this uncommon sword, which looks deadly, in fact. We need 60 mastery to get all of its moves. If we head to Fountain and defeat the strongest boss in the first sea, I think we should get enough mastery. Here goes. Cyborg, you're going down. All right, show me the mastery. 60 levels easy. We got the first move. There we go, the second move. Ooh, that could have been bad. Now it's time for the scary bit. What is this sword gonna cost to upgrade? Hello, blacksmith. What's it gonna cost? Just leather? There we go. Shark saw upgraded, which means we can cross off this one. Next up, we're gonna do the triple katana. If we head to the frozen village and then find the sword dealer of the east and talk to him, he will sell us the triple katana and the pipe. Luckily, I've already bought both of these and I've actually already leveled up the sword before, which means we should be able to once again again, just come back to the blacksmith and super easily level up both of these. Just leather and metal scraps, I think. Craft. That's number six. And also the pipe, which is a rare sword. And luckily, I'm so glad I've leveled up some of these swords in the past because now I need fish tails to do that. Right, we're off to the underwater. <laughs> we need 12 and it is an uncommon material, so they don't drop too often. So I guess if I just keep on fighting them, maybe we get like two in a row. Oh, there's one. We're going to be here for a little while, but this is going to be worth it. You know, we're getting our first rare sword completely enhanced. I've done so much
fish grinding and I finally got 11 fishtails. So I just need one more, which I'm going to get right here. Never mind. I'm going to get it right here. Just give me the fishtail. I want to leave this underwater area. Yes. Hello, Mr. Scammer. I am back. Upgrade the pipe. Oop. We've got a plus 25% damage pipe now. This is going to do insane amounts of damage. Boom. Boom. Now we're getting into some of the more crazy stuff because the next sword is on the volcano and it's inside this wall. Yep. Living skeleton. How spooky. He actually gives us the soul cane. And I've used this before in a video. Like I've got 228 mastery, which is huge. But because this is a rare sword, this is probably going to be pretty expensive to upgrade. So if it's just leather and angel wings, I'm going to be so happy. Just angel wings. Just angel wings. Just angel wings. What is even that thing? Radioactive material? Bro, who even drops those? It turns out the radioactive material drops from this nerd emoji looking guy over here. So we need to head to the second sea. And luckily it's only two. Like how hard can that be, right? Only getting two of these? Ah, this is going to be pain. Nothing so far. If I could get it fast, I'd be so happy. Where did these guys even spawn? What are these spawn located? All the way over there? I finally got one. Uncommon, by the way. This is the same rarity as fishtails, but it just feels like it drops so much less. Bro, there is an all-out war going on. Yo, don't mind me. I'm just grinding for my radioactive materials. <laughs> what is this chase going on? No, I'm just gonna vibe. Hopefully, they don't come back, but we've got a safety precaution on. You know, if we've got this pale scarf on, maybe they'll be like, ah, yes. This guy is a pro at blood fuse. Let's not fight him. Oh, finally. Wait, did I get it? I'm not hallucinating, right? Yeah, five. Whoa! Who are you? Why are you doing this? What? Oh, I was admiring my cool radioactive materials, and I just got attacked. There was no reason for that. Right, I'm off to go do some crafting. Soul cane, level one. There's 20% more damage now, which means... Where is the soul cane? Ah, there it is. While we're here, we might as well try and get the sword that this diamond guy drops. There's a 10% chance, so it is kind of rare. Hopefully, I get it first try. Where did he go? There he is. Soul beam. We did not get it first try. Luckily, there's also a boss we can try and get to get another sword, which is on lava. Yes, smoke admiral. All right, give me the goods. And we got nothing. You really think I didn't have backup plan number three? <laughs> if we head to the Skull Island, there is another boss we can take down to have a chance of getting another sword. All right, full speed ahead. Why does he have so much health? He's actually got the trident in his hands right now, so I hope that he drops it. Drop the goods, drop the goods. He also dropped nothing. Right, I'm all out of plan Bs. Is what you thought. Oh, the leopard guy's back. That's cool tree. That's cool tree. This guy over here, we can take his gravity cane. As long as I'm not being hunted down by the leopard guy, I'm vibing. Like, I don't care if you can't walk without it. I need it. Please drop. Please drop. No, he dropped meteorite. These swords are so hard to get in the second sea. All right, instead, we're gonna head back to the first sea because there are still a lot of swords in the first sea that we need to do. Now, what I actually forgot to do while I was in the upper sky was talk to this master sword dealer who sells a dual-headed blade for 400k and also Bicento for 1 million. And I luckily already have both of these, but I don't have the dual-headed blade all the way leveled up. And this needs 100 mastery. You know what? 100 mastery is actually kind of a lot. So we're actually gonna head back to the second sea to grind bosses. You know, maybe then we can get like the other swords while grinding for this sword. Maximum efficiency. First boss diamond is not home. Why are you here? I'm just trying to check if smoker exists. I'm being attacked. Bro, I will end you. I've got my dual-headed blade, bro. You don't want to do this. I'm a left-click demon. You've picked the wrong guy. Okay, maybe he hasn't picked the wrong guy. Oh, no. Oh, I got folded. You know, who needs PvP anyway? I just want to get my sword leveled up. That's all. I got my first move called Assassinate. Where'd he go? Now that I've got my new moves, he ran away. Twin-headed blade. Can we upgrade this? We need 12 fish tails again. And just to double check as well, we'll check Vicento because maybe we need magma ore. So no matter what, we just got to go back to the first sea to upgrade both of these. Not that I've wiped out every single fish underneath the ocean. I think I have enough fish tails. Yeah, we got 15. I went above and beyond, which means I think we should be able to upgrade this sword. But it's not the right thing. There we go. This is the soul we can upgrade. 2400 damage now. But even better than the damage, we can do this. That's what I've been waiting to do. But next, if we want to get the Bicento all the way leveled up, I think it was eight magma ore we needed. Yeah, we need eight magma ore. Now we go to Volcano. I think this has got to be one of the rarest materials in all of Blocks Roots because I never get this. There we go. There's the first one. Now I gotta wait like 15 minutes to get number two. And there we go. There's the final magma ore. That's 10. Like Smith, can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. This will give us plus 25% bonus damage on this sword that already does tons of damage. What does our Quake Sphere do now? Too much. Basic left clicks. 3,122. And that's also our first legendary weapon completely ticked off. This hellish bingo board is starting to fill out a bit nicer now. We've still got an insane amount more to go though. Oh, and before I forget actually, I've already done the True Triple Katana, the Hollow Scythe, and the Dark Blade. So we can do Dark Blade, True Triple Katana, and Hollow Scythe, which is arguably three of the most difficult ones to do. So I'm super happy that we got that one sorted. We've really 
really not got many swords left from the first sea, but there is one right here. If we can kill the Fishman Lord, he can drop. Yep, there we go. The Trident, which I happen to have never used before. So I've got zero mastery and we need 125. Okay, we're off to the second sea. I'm not even messing around anymore. Okay, Diamond, I'm here to defeat you to not only get your sword, but get a bunch of mastery, please. Okay, no sword, but that's easily getting us our first move. Trident throw. Okay, Fajita, show me the goods. You're over there. Nope. Now you're over here. <laughs> that's so cool. It does tons of damage as well. No sword, but 100 mastery. Smoker, give me a ton of mastery as well. Boom, there we go. We can use our new move called Water Pulse. I am back, Blacksmith. What are you going to charge me for this one? 12 magma ore again? I'm sick and tired of fighting enemies on Volcano. I want a change of pace until we get at least one of the swords. That's all that I need. Then I'll have the motivation to go get magma ores. We got nothing good from our first boss. Nothing. Also nothing. Nothing again. I found a key, but no sword. But I finally got the long sword as a drop, which is a rare sword. But now that I've got that, we can head back to the first sea and get the magma ore that we need to upgrade this trident. I have done way too much grinding here. I'm investing for the future you know? 51 magma ores. No physical way I need more than that. That's too many. There we go. Plus 25% damage. Now we're here for big boy numbers. There we go. Now they're in the second sea. We should probably level up this long sword and get oh, all of God. these moves, which we will go and fight every boss we can if they are even spawned in. There's two Buddha fruits boss rushing all the way over there. So instead, we're off to the third sea, which will probably be the smarter play in the long run because we do need 200 mastery. Swordsman versus long sword. Let's do this. Ow. Okay. Hey, relax, Ligma. Ligma does not mess around. I'm actually gonna die. Please, please, please. Die, Longma, die. Yes! 2.8 million mastery. At the very least, we're getting Annihilate. Glorious smash, though. I don't think we're gonna get that. Let's try out this new move. Annihilate. Yeah, it kind of just goes everywhere. Pretty cool looking attack. Yes, Cake Queen. What is going on in here? Don't mind me, guys. I'm just here to get some damage. Ow. Yo, he's definitely not aiming at Cake Queen. Bruh! Do you really want to be done like that? Because I will do you like that. Annihilate! That's right. That's my brand new move. I'm, t I'm literally gonna die. Right, at least now I don't need to worry about getting pvp and i can just walk over here and attack the cake queen and there we go we're already a mastery 183 there we go we finally got it well now that we've leveled up this long sword let's hope that the third sea blacksmith gives us like a discount or something are you 10 of those what sick developer came up with that idea first kill we actually got one yeah this is gonna be a long day i can't believe this random goofy looking medieval sword that's one of the most annoying requirements to get it upgraded bro who is this guy i'm trying to fight the lab staff i promise you bro you do not want to do this. You do not. Oh, he's got Blizzard. That's not fun. All right, we're awakening. I'm trying to grind and he's interrupting me. Take this long sword attack. Oh, he's awakened as well. You know, I'm just going to ignore this guy. He's not even really a threat. I'm just going to keep on grinding. This is really not easy. I finally have 10 of these. And now I think the long sword is going to be ticked off. Yup. Boom. Long sword grade one. There goes the long sword. At the moment, I am seeing way too much pink. In fact, that's so many legendary weapons. That's unbelievable. I think I can actually get three of them completely awakened right now. And that's the three swords of the true triple katana. So if I come over here and talk to the blacksmith, can you upgrade my sadi? Yes, I can. Which means... Boom, boom. Next up, we have got Shisui, which... There we go. Another legendary done. Now, I think I'm out of leather again. No way, bro. I need three leather. Moments later. A decent amount of leather grinding later, and I think... Yep, Wando. Easy upgrade. I say easy, but that took like 15 minutes. A little while ago, when I awakened the rumble fruits, I also happened to level up the pole all the way to max. I need 10 more of those again. Okay, you know what? I think it'll be my best interest to just grind like 20 of these things and then I can invest them for the future. I'm just trying to gr Why does everybody try and attack you when you grind this area? It's actually crazy, bro. Oh, I guess this is my life now. I just gotta destroy these guys real quick. Okay, I need one more radioactive material, but I did happen to get Smoker's weapon, which need 300 mastery. Are you joking? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go use this on the factory staff to hopefully get like a little bit of XP going while I try and get this last item that I need. And there we go. We got the final material. Been able to completely upgrade this one. And while doing some research, other than the Pole V1, there is another weapon, and it's actually the Saber. This weapon right here surprisingly needs that radioactive material. I need five more of whatever that is, and then we can get Saber as well. But there goes another legendary off the list. And this is Saber, completely upgraded, which is yet another legendary sword. But instead of focusing on the legendary swords, we should try and level up Smoker's weapon all the way to max. So I think this item here is something called a Mini Tusk, which is found in the third scene. So I guess we should go and grind the remaining eight that we need, and then we can move on to the next sword. 15 minutes later. Hello, Mr. Scammer. I am back again. Wait, what? Yeah, I've got 15 mini tusks. Oh, why are these so similar? It's a vampire 
fang that I'm actually looking for, which means we got to go back to the second scene. Time to make the vampires go extinct. I'm angry now. We got the first move, smoke barrage. Grinding just became a lot easier now. My grinding spot is never safe no matter where I am. You don't want me to put you down, Buddha boy. You're not ready for a smoke barrage. Yeah, that's right. That guy was a lot weaker than I thought he was. It took an unbelievable amount of grinding, but I think I've got the right material. Yep, there we go. Rare sword craft. That was way harder than it needed to be for a rare sword. This whole time, I've kind of ignored a sword from the first C because I didn't get lucky enough to get it the first time. So I'm going to head back and go get it right now. And here is that said boss. That sword right there that he's holding right now is exactly what we're trying to get. Can I get it first try? No, I can't. I guess I got to wait until the boss respawns again. There it is. The warden sword. Luckily, this thing only needs 80 mastery. And the way I'm holding this, actually, that's kind of sick. But now we need to get some mastery and also figure out what this thing needs to be upgraded. Well, getting that mastery was pretty easy. We've already got all the moves. But more importantly, I can do this. That's what I've been wanting to do. And while I'm in the second C, I think there was a sword I could get from this ship. Did I get this already? Yeah, hello again. Yes, Midnight Blade. This is what I was looking for. This blade is so cool looking. What's not cool looking about it, though, is how it needs 325 mastery. We're definitely going to the third C and grinding bosses there to get all this mastery. And there we go. We got the first move of the Midnight Blade. Portal opening. This just sounds OP. Does it do? Ooh, wait, what rarity is this sword? Ah, right, legendary. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, I guess now we just work on getting the rest of the mastery and then we can figure out what it needs to be upgraded. I've grinded so many bosses and I'm still only at 319. But to be smart, let's get the final bit of mastery on a boss that also has a weapon drop. And we got the drop. And we got the new move, Crescent Dash. But to upgrade the sword, let me guess, we're going to need like 75 dragon bones or something. 40 exoplasm and 50 metal scraps or something. Honestly, that's not awful to get. One hour later. So I did a little mining off camera and I have 99 leather. This might even be the max and 99 scrap metal. So any swords that want to be upgraded from now on, I got them. Never mind. I forgot about the ectoplasm. Okay, we got to head back to the second C and grind that material now. These guys usually have the best drop rates for this item. Yep, there we go. One ectoplasm already. These ectoplasms have been an absolute speed run. I think I literally need two more and there's the last one. So pretty much we can already go and upgrade this midnight blade because this is only pretty much the halfway point. The swords after this point are going to get way crazier. And while grinding mastery for the previous sword, we did get this other legendary sword, which also happens to need 300 mastery as well. So we need to go on a big boss hunting mission and try and get this 300 mastery as soon as possible. Oh yeah, we got a new skill, piercing dash. The left clicks of this sword might be absolutely terrible, but the moves, oh, the moves are clean. Piercing dash. Oh, with the cherry blossom leaf. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm doing this all with one hand behind my back. That's how like confident I am with this sword. There we go. Brand new move, scattering gust. Let's try it out in like this straight up arena that I've got. Scattering dust. Oh, these moves are cool. So if we head to the blacksmith, what does he want to upgrade? Yes. I thought ahead of time and I got some of these dragon scales because I thought I'd need a ton of them. And I'm so glad I did because Cavender completely upgraded. There it is. Boom. Another one ticked off. Now, I was a little scared to even look at the upgrade requirements of this sword before. Oh, so we need fishtails and we need mystic droplets to do this pole. Luckily, I've already got like both the moves of this pole V2. But now we need to go on a material grind. And in the blink of an eye, I have everything I need. That took so long. Long. All of this for 8% damage. Boom. Another one, pole V2, completely gone. Now, I think it's about time we finish off the uncommon and rare swords. To do that, we gotta head to the third C because there is a boss that has a drop. Actually, wait, never mind. I've literally already used these things before. In fact, I've got 127 mastery on these things. They do need 300 to get a new move, which is not ideal, but we can finally finish uncommon. We're gonna use the twin hooks to defeat the guy with twin hooks. Our first move is called Sky Cyclone, which is literally this boss's exact move. I guess it means prehistoric punt is going to be the uh, move he just used there, which auto tracks onto you. I hope mine does that. But it is really not easy to get 300 mastery over and over and over. And that is mastery 277. Not much more suffering to go. And there we go. That's mastery 300. Finally. I've been way more curious to see if this move is just the exact same. Which, yes, it is. But now I need to head back and see what this is going to cost to get upgraded. I can imagine it's going to be pretty expensive, right? Wait, I actually have everything? What's 10% damage? Yes, sir. Twin hooks upgraded, which means we finished every single uncommon. But to complete the entire row, we've got to fully upgrade the gravity cane. And luckily for me, a while ago, I did a video where I used the gravity fruit. And in that video, I completely leveled up the cane. So I don't need to get 250 levels to get this upgraded. But what's the blacksmith going to take for this? Wait, why is this one of like the easiest ones to do so far? I was expecting it to be like a random material I've never seen before. But boom, gravity cane also upgraded, which means we have completed our first row. We have still got a lot more legendaries to go. Speaking of legendary, then why don't we check what the Coco sword is going to take to upgrade because I have leveled this one up in the past. What is it going to 
the tank. I can surprisingly do this one as well. I'm being attacked. Just put this guy down real quick with my sword. Boom. That's Coco completely done. Some of these last ones, although are going to be pretty tough, I might already have a lot of the materials. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know when I crossed this Warden Sword off. I must have been hallucinating because uh, I completely forgot to actually upgrade this. I got the materials. So now it's technically complete. Now on this second row is a weapon called the Dragon Trident. And that only drops from a boss in the second C. Now comes the true question. Was I lucky enough to get this sword as a drop in the past? I hope I was. Oh, yes. I actually have it. And it's got 350 mastery. Are you kidding me? I don't even think the Hallow Scythe goes that high. Okay, the Hallow Scythe goes that high. And then let me guess. It's going to cost like an absolute arm and a leg to upgrade this. Okay, that's kind of expensive, but I have the materials. So we're going to work on grinding the levels for these. We unlock the first move called Sea Dragon Fury. I think this is just the exact same as the boss, right? Yes, yeah, the exact same as the boss. New skill available. Finally, what does it do? It's literally just a water orb. This means that I can finally come and check what the blacksmith wants. And there we go. Dragon Trident completely upgraded, which means we've completed two entire rows. And now we got the real hard stuff left. Just legendaries and a mythical. So let's start with my all-time favorite sword in this entire game, the Dark Dagger. What is this going to take to upgrade? You know what? That's not bad. Except, why is it only 10% damage? So we actually need to get dragon scales, which we can find on Hydra Arena. And they are, yeah, very rare to get. So this is probably going to take a while just to get four. And the Dark Dagger is... Yeah, I got all the materials. Nice. Legendary sword grade one. For a legendary sword, that was surprisingly easy, which means we can cross it off and move on to the spiky trident. It would be really convenient if I had everything ready for this. But, oh, I'm not even close. I need eight conjured cocoa, which is a rare material, and five of the mystic droplets from the second sea. So we're going to head back to the second sea first and get the easier material, and then we'll come back and get the more difficult one. Oh, you love to see a drop from the first mob. I mean, then you see nothing for like 20 more after that, but maybe I get lucky, please. Oh, oh, that's big. We've already got two. I might get some extra ones in case any of the final swords require these, because I don't want to have to come back here. I can get the spiky trident done, plus 9% damage. There we go, another one ticked off. Be honest you might have some other easier ones, like the buddy sword. I've already leveled this one up to max before in the past, but can I upgrade it? Nope, we need eight conjured cocoa for the buddy sword. But we've got the other two materials, so that's good. And just in case, we're gonna check the Rengoku as well, another legendary sword that I've used in a video before, that I might have the materials for. Wait, I'm so close. Okay, if we go to the first C, we can quickly level up the Rengoku and upgrade that. I have been playing Box Roots now for so long. Uh, so we need one more Magma Ore, which I'm gonna get right here right now, Demon Slayer. Never mind this guy. There we go, the last Magma Ore we needed. And I think the other material we needed was scrap metal, since we've only got 12 of these. So if I defeat some of these mobs, they should drop everything that I'm looking for. There we go, scrap metal. Now that I've got all the scrap metal, this sword can really quick and easily be upgraded. It's 8% damage, and it costs all of that. I mean, I'm more happy to just be able to, like, take this off the list. But just four more to go. Bro, I'm trying to go to the third C, and I'm being hunted down by people. Like, what is this? I don't even want to be here. You think I won't buddy sword you to death, bro? You ain't ready. This is so annoying. Oh, wait, they're fighting each other. Now's my chance to make my escape. Wait, that guy is solo. We just stole my kill. I did all the effort there. Wait, I might just be able to leave. Bruh, he's back again. All right, I'm awakening. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And I'm in the ocean. That's cool. Five minutes later. It was such a journey to just get to this island to be able to get these items. And this is one of the rare materials, so I'm likely not going to see this for a long time. Do I have the item? Coco. Yep, I've got eight of them. Can you not? Why is this guy squaring up? I'm off straight to the blacksmith. And I'm upgrading this buddy sword instantly. I don't want to have to look at this thing ever again. Boom, crap. Oh, that feels good. Now, all that is left is everything to do with the Cursed Old Katana. Now, it would be real nice if we could just like almost instantly level up one of these CDK, but I'm not sure what the requirements are. Why is it so cheap? This is quite possibly the cheapest legendary sword yet. Plus 8% damage, crap. Can I do Yama as well? Hello, Blacksmith. No way. Two of the legendary swords I thought would be the hardest. It was just easy mode. There goes Tushita. There goes Yama. One to go. And it's the hardest one yet. The Cursed Dual Katana. Imagine I just have everything. Oh, I was so close. I thought I had everything. We need to go and get seven mini tusks and 55 scrap metal. I really don't have long left to get all these items. I have been playing this game for many hours straight now. There's our first mini tusk. So it should be a pretty easy grind to get these. And mini tusks later. I think, yep, I got the first two sorted. Now we just need the scrap metal. All right, this is my life now. I am just going to exist on Pirate Village and annihilate everything so I can get these scrap metals. Bro, I'm being hunted down again. I will fight back with everything I have. Okay, right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're going Buddha form now. Where are they? They're down there. You guys think you're safe? Bro, this is life or death right now. I just want to upgrade this final sword. In fact, can I go and upgrade this right now? Get the damage boost? Hey, Blacksmith, upgrade my sword, upgrade my sword. Craft, no! 
I think it's about time for some revenge. We get him revenge. Boom, that's one. Let the other one go. He ran away. He saw I'd upgraded my swords all the way and he ran. But with this, we have upgraded every single sword in Bloxfruits. And it took me so long. I hope I never have to see this bingo board ever again. 